weeks go beyond just the numbers when it comes to hurricane forecasting. Meteorologists are keying on other ways to predict the season, and one of those is known as the LRC. For more on it, here's Zach Ferdella. Each year, the hurricane forecast numbers don't tell us much, as we always preach. It only takes one storm to be a bad season. But there's a new forecast tool that can go beyond the numbers and add even more detail to the season's tropical activity. Will the Gulf be a hot spot this year? Or could it possibly be the Caribbean? Or maybe it's the Atlantic, poised to be the active part of the basin. The weather could already be giving us hints to those hot spots based on the LRC. The LRC stands for the Lezak Recurring Cycle, named after Gary Lezak, former TV meteorologist that developed a hypothesis on weather being one big cycling pattern. I recently had a conversation with Gary about his findings. Notice that the cycling weather pattern uh, is regular. The pattern is repeating over and over again. And the forecaster that uses this technology is able to make these predictions for uh, winter storms, severe weather outbreaks, tropical storms, floods, droughts, and other significant events weeks to months ahead of time. So where does it all start? The origins of a storm signal come from indicators in the pattern. Okay, these seeds that get planted for what will end up being tropical systems, they, the weather pattern is sort of uh, planting these in October and November, and then the pattern cycling so we can predict when they are gonna form into uh, potential tropical systems. So going back to last fall, it was October and November. We were watching what was going on. And we've actually seen quite a few of those early indicators. Those early indicators are those areas of low pressure. A lot of them developed in the central Gulf and moved towards the eastern Gulf, which highlights where our hot spots will be heading into this hurricane season. You could see that red area that runs almost from the state of Louisiana all the way through South Florida. This is that area of the basin that could be highlighted multiple times with possible tropical development. I don't see New Orleans as an absolute for sure target. I think it's going to be more likely northeast of you or east of you towards the Panama City, you know, Apalachicola, Florida area. However, that's close enough. Close enough means we'll have activity to keep an eye on this year. And the indicators can increase their storm signal even once we actually enter the season. When there's a weaker tropical storm in June, what most meteorologists don't understand, that is a sign that the, the chance goes from 65% to 84% that a later cycle is going to produce a more significant storm uh, as we get closer to peak hurricane season. Those more significant storms are poised for peak season, and Lezak made sure to highlight some of those dates. It is probably going to be crazy active for August 25th to September 15th, but just know that that Northeast Gulf of Mexico target and the Florida targets are right around peak hurricane season. After following Lee Zach's LRC for a few years now, it does add some depth into our forecasting. It helps us at Fox 8 see beyond all of the weather models and contributes to increased accuracy in the long range. Another hurricane season is upon us and we'll be watching things closely. For Weathering the Storm 2024, I'm meteorologist Zach Fredella. At Relief Windows, we're